Hey everyone, so today I'm really excited because Jay and I bought a new camera and this is a big deal because that means we can do more vlogging and the reason we didn't vlog much before was because I have the Canon T5i and that's where I do all my beauty videos and everything and it is ginormous. So whenever we would try to vlog, it was like a workout trying to get that thing up and focused. So I just real I just said, okay, you know what, we need to get a new camera because our other channel has been kind of dormant. We haven't really posted anything in a while. So now we're going to be vlogging weekly. I mean, our lives aren't like that exciting, so you might get bored, but whatever. Liar. Liar. I see your little cheek up already. Liar. Liar. <laughs> 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 you see the ones I want? The wines I brought? Yeah. Okay, so this was kind of random, but I didn't want the video to be short. So I asked right now on Instagram. Like for you guys to ask us just some random questions, just like a quick Q and A. So nothing like crazy. This is super casual. <laughs> so the first one is from E C S T V T I C. I can't Whoa. pronounce it. What thing do you most uh, do you both most agree on? What would you say? What do we most agree on? I I mean disagree. Sorry, oh, disagree. disagree. Um. Did I pick up after the, myself in the room? No, 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 not like that. Oh. The one thing that I can say is that we usually get in, not arguments, but disagreements, it, like, when it comes to why, like, behavioral kind of things, like, why people do the things they do. We always go yeah, back and forth on yeah, that. We, do. we disagree on stuff yeah. like that, like, why people do certain things, like, I'll have an opinion on one thing, and then he thinks he's right, so he's like, no, no, I'm no. <laughs> Shut up, I am. <laughs> so we fight because you can't accept the fact that I'm right. <laughs> so it's usually like behavioral things when it comes to like yeah. people. Yeah. And then Nasha21127, can you guys come to New York City? Any advice for couples moving in together for the first time? Well, oh. New York, we absolutely want to go to. We will be going to New York. Maybe like next year, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully sooner. Yeah. No, what would have to be next year? We well, don't have time this year. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully yeah. next year. And advice for couples moving in together, what would you say? Oh, man, take your time. I mean, moving together, yeah, of course. But, you know, get to know each other. Actually focus on that. A lot of people don't, you know. Okay, but what if they've known each other for a long time? What would your advice be? Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. You know, you're just in the same place together. It should be more fun. You know, take advantage of being together. With nobody else around. Yeah. You know, enjoy, um, enjoy the privacy you guys will have. Yeah, like uh, for Jay and me, we took a while like moving in. Yeah, it was, it was a while. It was like what? Six, we were together six years like, so, yeah, before six we years. finally moved in. Not that like we didn't want to move in, but. There's different things and you know. I, I don't know. I always <laughs> felt younger than what I was. So when I actually thought about it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm this age. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's kind because of, I was moving out and then he was like, well, I'm moving with you. And that's kind of how we just moved in, right? She didn't really ask me. I kind of <laughs> offered myself. You know, I was a, try to give her the puppy eyes. But that shit didn't work. She went out the door real quick. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... For us, nothing changed. Yeah. Like, and nothing changed besides, like, we had more time. Because, like, driving to pick up each other and dropping each other off. And, like, uh, I don't know. It's, like, so annoying. Yeah, that, that took a big <laughs> chunk out of our day. And yeah. It took more of our, our, you know, our alone time away. That's what, I, that's what I mean, like, by enjoying each other. What, what were your first jobs ever? My first <laughs> job, I didn't get a job till I was 18. And it was at a, a store called Dolce at the block. Dolce & Gabbana? In Orange. <laughs> I wish. No. It was like a cheap 
store. That's like not even open right now. I said, well, I, I grew up in a body shop, so my first job was fixing cars. Yeah. That's the first job I've had, and I, I never left. <laughs> I've always stayed there. Yeah. So that's all I've always ever done, just worked on cars and painted cars and stuff like that. So. And how does it feel when people stop and recognize you too when you're out and about? It feels good. Like, yeah. I it's love. Cool. I think it's cool. Yeah, and I love yeah. meeting everybody. Like, I, I get, I'm a really shy person, so if I'm quiet, it's because I'm super shy. And then Jay's always like, "Gosh, you need to talk to them more." I'm like, "I don't know what to say," just because I'm naturally really, really shy. Like, even doing videos for like however many years I've been doing it, it's just me in front of a camera. It's just me myself. I've always been a shy, quiet person, so when I meet people, it's like I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, I, still to this day, like I, like it still trips me out when people go up to her and ask her for a picture, and then they say, "Oh, you know, you guys are cool." You know, I mean, ma mainly her, but it's just like it's still like a trip. Like, <laughs> what are your favorite mutual bands, groups, artists? Um, oh, gosh, gosh, I have a lot. I have like Dang. Coldplay, System of a Down, Dion and the Belmonts. I love Elvis. <laughs> Um, I love, b b b gosh, there's so many. Shoot, I mean, for me, it's always going to be, my go-to, it's always going to be some, some West Coast, you know, some, some Dre, Cube, NWA for sure, but then I'll go back to Metallica, <laughs> oh, yeah. some crazy Metallica. stuff like that, and you know, some, you know. Pantera, old school stuff, and then, wow, you know, stick to my roots, some corridos and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, nice. I love Mana and I love Vicente Fernandez. He doesn't like them, Screw of course. <laughs> uh, when are you guys planning on having babies? <laughs> babies. Soon. Oh, uh, not soon. soon. <laughs> you won't know it. It's coming. <laughs> um... I mean, we don't have, like, a set date or anything like that. I kind of freak out when I think about kids. Yeah. I I freak out because I don't have patience. And just having, having to carry something on my stomach is just... So you got me <sighs> No, I know. I mean, you're the only thing that calms me down. But it's, it's stressful. <laughs> so, but why are you so goddamn beautiful? <laughs> Because I use a yeah, lot of why, makeup why are to you cover. So damn beautiful? Because I, I, ask I use every day. makeup. <laughs> I ask her that every single day. There hasn't been one day that I've asked her. Why are you so damn beautiful? See, so, do you guys share a favorite dish to cook together or a favorite restaurant? Yeah, uh, we have a lot of favorite restaurants. I what's mean, like our main? Morton's. Morton's would Morton's, be our favorite. What the hell? Mastro's. Oh my god. Morton's. Morton's sucks. <laughs> M, jeez, Louise. No, yeah, yeah. More is no, no, no. Like that. I know. I'm sorry, Mastros. Don't hate me. <laughs> I mean, I met Mastros when we lived in Costa Mesa. Mastros was literally like down across, the yeah, down the street from us. So we were there all the time, yeah, and it was it was amazing. So Mastros. Yeah, Mastros is cool. Any advice on how to keep things spicy and exciting? Oh, uh, you handle Whoa. that. So what, like a, a relationship? Yeah, well, no. yes. Are you talking about a meal? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I mean, like she said, you know, lo love is a choice. And if you really love a person, you don't have to think about what you're going to do. You just do it. You know, it just naturally comes out. Like, I don't plan on what I'm going to do the next day with her, you know. I don't plan yeah. on what I'm going to do tonight, you know. For all you guys, when this camera shuts off, it's going to go down. You, know, you don't know that. <laughs> But it, 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 you just don't, you don't plan it, you know, you just feel it. Yeah, and see, I'm more of like a, a spontaneous type of person. So, like, i rather not know, like, what's going on. Mm, what's your favorite thing to do for date night? Oh, shoot, we always have our go-to spots. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, we, we, we randomly have our months where for couple times out of the month we ended up at chapter one and we have like a late yeah. dinner because they have the late kitchen we have a late oh, dinner yeah. then we have drinks and then we come home or then we have our moments where on sundays 
you go to Applebee's or Trader Sam's or Trader Sam's and Trader hang Sam's out downtown and Disney. That downtown is Disney, the yeah. spot. <laughs> or yeah. House of Blues downtown. Or House Disney. of Blues too. We go on Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. You know, we did Wednesdays for a while because they have karaoke. Yeah. But that's pretty cool. But no, it's it just depends. Depends on my the favorite date night is watching horror movies in bed, oh, drinking yeah. hot chocolate. That yeah. is like yeah, that's, my thing. That's the thing. <laughs> what are your pet peeves towards each other? You could go first. Shit, I don't think I have any. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you do. I don't. I never complain about anything. Yeah, when I raise my voice, I guess. Oh, yeah, when she says that, you know, she's like, uh, you know, trying to tell me something. And she starts uh, uh, hollering up her lungs. And no, and I just talk like, loudly. Like, don't yell. And she's like, I'm not yelling. I'm not. I'm like, <laughs> walk around with your play. Shut uh, up. Mine but, uh, would be. But, for the record, it's not really a pet peeve. It's just, you know, it's like, hey, why are you yelling at me? Don't yell at me. I'm not but uh, it's not a pet peeve. <laughs> I, I don't have any. Uh, I guess if I had to choose one, it'd be that every... every you already know. <laughs> <laughs> every time when I clean, he comes in here, he, like, takes his pants off, drops on the floor, takes his shoes off, leaves them on the floor, and I'm like, I just cleaned. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> He's gotten better, but he's still doing it. Uh, next one. For being together for so long, how do you guys keep your relationship interesting and not bearing? Bearing. <laughs> Boring. Um, always just remember like what you love about that person and the things that you appreciate about that person and the things that they do for you. And I mean, even if you remember that and you're still bored, just do like small things. Uh, every year we take two vacations mm -hmm. and one for his birthday one for my birthday oh. and it's amazing even if it's just like <clears throat> normally we go like we'd have big vacations we'd go to tahiti tourist and caicos and stuff like that but now we're trying to save for a lot more so we do like the all-inclusive things in mexico oh. which are, are two thousand really like cheap two thousand oh. dollars for like four nights and everything is paid for like I mean, two thousand dollars, including your flight, your flight, yeah. and then food. That's nothing. All you have like, to do is tip and just use American dollars. Yeah, and, and tipping more. in Mexico, if you tip a couple dollars, dollars are worth more. Like they appreciate that. How do you both meet? MySpace. MySpace. MySpace, but through my brother. Through his brother, because I knew his brother in high school. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so technically, his brother. No. Oh no 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 wait okay. No, I mean. How how did you manage to move out together? Did you have to save money for a while? Any tips on saving to move out? Uh, well, we rent, so we don't have to save anything. I mean, it's just no, like a monthly yeah, thing. Yeah, it's a monthly thing. Just as long as you know you can do the monthly payments. But with that being said, save. Save yeah. every penny. Yeah, we're saving. Save so. everything. So we can buy a house. <laughs> everything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was Jay's opinion when you first started doing pinup? Love your videos together, by the way. Thank you. So, what was your opinion? I was fine with it. I'm cool with it. Whatever. I support her whatever she wants to do. She wants to do pinup. She now wants to do pinup. I'm there. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm always going to back her up no matter what. Uh, but no, I, I, it's cool. You know, it, it was different because I never had seen that. I mean, I would see it, but I've never seen it like how she does it but no, i was cool with it i like it what's one thing you both want to do that's outside your comfort zone shit everything is out of the comfort zone i want to be in a movie <laughs> that's out of my comfort zone because i'm too well, shy <laughs> me doing this right now is out of my comfort zone <laughs> i'll tell you that <laughs> how long did jay have to wait to become a citizen my husband is a resident and we are in the process of finishing his citizenship as well Congratulations again to you both. It's huge. I pray my yes. husband gets there soon. Love you both. Okay, so when he <laughs> submitted the application, it took three months to get his appointment date. Yeah, yeah. His appointment to get his his testing or his naturalization the, interview. The done. interview. Yeah. yeah. So it took three months, and then after that, it only took like a week, two, a week and a half. Yeah. To get his letter for his oath. ceremony, yeah. his oath ceremony, and that's what that's when you get your certificate. Yeah, that, but uh, I I did read that every city is different. We're in Santa, we're in Santa Ana, we're in Anaheim, 
but he had to go to Santa Ana to do his test. Mm-hmm. And Santa Ana, they were actually really fast with that because because Santa Ana is usually like Hispanic based, and a lot of people yeah. are getting their citizenship. So what they try to do is for the ceremonies, they like to fill them up. Yeah, there's a certain because I know they probably like yeah, there's pay a certain, money to rent the spots at the yeah, yeah. So they so. wait till they get a certain amount of mm. um, citizens or soon to be citizens. Just, and good luck to your husband. Yes, I hope I'm he excited gets it for him. Too, yeah. <laughs> uh, any wedding plans? Yes. Well, we've always had that. Yeah, we've always like, had. We've always said that we were going to get married. It's just we had certain plans that we wanted to, to accomplish to, to accomplish before that. Yeah, but no, definitely. Yeah. Wedding's coming soon, just like babies. <laughs> like, hey. like, like. <laughs> What's the funniest memory you two have had together? We've had a lot. Oh my gosh. There, what, what, what was it when we were in Vegas and I had to use the restroom? You fell asleep in the bathroom? <laughs> I fell asleep on the toilet. And you're like, you're like. I got mad at you because he came yeah, in. Because I came in, but she was knocked out. And then she was like, what do you let me do this? And fell asleep again. But I, let me just say, I wasn't taking a shit. I was not. <laughs> I just fell asleep, like, with my face in my hands and I got mad at him because he let me drink that much. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't drink, don't drink, no. Shit. Has another guy or girl come between you two? If so, how did you deal with that strain in your relationship? I don't know, bitch would have been dead. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is that like we have each other's passwords like for everything it's yeah. always been like that since the beginning mm-hmm. that we've been together and like when we first started dating uh, i mean i never had like a really serious boyfriend before yeah. him so i didn't know how relationships were so i mean if something would bother him he'd tell me and i'd correct it and like if something would bother bother bother, bother me bothering me yeah i mean <laughs> but like when we first started like dating i mean that doesn't really count yeah. but like now like I mean, like, bitches will mes- message him, whatever, message. thinking I don't have the password and I don't see that shit, but he, like, oh, shows sees me. that shit. Yeah, he shows he sees me everything. It. So then I'll be like, I'm going to pretend to be you, and then I pretend to be him or yeah. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last question. This was supposed to be a mini <laughs> Q&A, but we had so many questions uh-huh. in a short amount of time, so I w- wanted to get through most of them. Even then, I still didn't get through a lot of them. But the questions that um, I didn't answer were ones that I've answered couple times a couple times before so if you look back at my q a's on my beauty channel you will see them there but that's it for tonight <laughs> thank you all for watching we love you guys for sticking around even though we went on yeah. hiatus for like almost a year for a little bit yeah appreciate the support yeah we love mm. you all and yep. we'll see you soon Bye. bye